It is often said that when there is a will, there is a way. However, we believe that nature always has ways. It is we who lack the will. Going all in with a will to embrace nature and coexistence, we have learned the way of sustainable living. The journey was enriching and full of learnings. It required establishing communication with the nature and its elements. We asked the sun to stay and showed water the way. We sowed what we love to eat and invited the birds and bees. We let the nature take its course and continued giving uninterrupted efforts. We started with a barren patch of land amid dry, semi-arid and scrub forest. There was no source of water in sight. Our only opportunity was getting the rainwater to stay on our land. We remodeled the path of flowing rainwater, cutting through our land into a stream and created a lake at the end of it. We also started rainwater harvesting and mulching organic residues, which has resulted in increased groundwater levels, more moisture in soil and eventually reduced water intake by our plants. Even in summers, they need water only once a week. Our next step was landscaping, which we started by growing a dense border vegetation using native shrubs, some fast-growing creepers, alongside large, flowering and fast-growing trees. We planted fragrant trees and plants in the direction of wind for the breeze to carry the fragrance along the entire farm. After this, we moved on to growing ground covers, promising a variety of flowering, ornamental and shade-loving shrubs and large leafy varieties of creepers. This ensured that our land remained green without any kind of dehydration or soil erosion. Eventually, we started growing food that we consumed. We started with planting some fruit trees like badam, tamarind, drumstick, chiku, coconut, jamun, guava and pomegranate. We also planted leafy greens like spinach, coriander and methi. We grew vegetables like lady's finger, bottle gourd, eggplant, tomatoes, radish, spring onions, garlic, chilies and beans. And to enjoy the fresh farm produce, we made a humble salad bar. Right there in the middle of the farm, where veggies are chopped and served instantly. We wanted to add some aroma and flavors to our food. So we grew herbs such as basil, meswak, bilipatra, ajwain, putranjiva and lemongrass. To ensure that there is no entry of any chemicals into the farm, no waste goes untreated. All the kitchen waste is collected to make organic compost. Not only this, our abundant neem leaves are treated to make herbal pesticides. Our farm was becoming a welcoming ground for different variety of fauna. Hence, we started planting a wide variety of trees and shrubs that are known to attract birds, insects and other biodiversity. We also created a small lily pond which not only makes for some stunning views but has also given birth to an aquatic ecosystem. We often spot snakes and monitor lizards who come to feed or simply chill around the pond. Birds and animals are very fond of using the infrastructure on the farm. They are often spotted taking leisurely strolls on the walkway or hanging around on the railings. 
This farm is now home to more than 70 different species of birds along with other animals, reptiles and insects, some permanent and others visiting. We had come this far from the city to enjoy being outdoors, not to be enclosed in walls. So we didn't make any. Instead, we designed a glass house with a series of verandas, decks and balconies looking out all around. The concept was to create a vivacious landscape and a house from which you could look out at it. Here, there is no distinction between the inside and the outside. The ground floor of our glass house consists of a hall, kitchen, dining and a bedroom. Devoid of any fixed furniture or difference in level, the entire space can be used as one for large gatherings or parties. For lucidity between movements and spaces, we have created multiple entry and exits. For instance, an essential part of the house, the swimming pool, can be accessed from any room. Our philosophy of minimalism is quaintly reflected in our architecture. It is devoid of embellishments and cladding materials of any kind. Large portions of the exposed RCC slabs are filled with elements like terracotta pots made on the site itself. The floor above is made of steel beams and columns that were erected in a record single day. A tall spiral staircase from the pool deck leads us to this floor. Alternatively, a lush green mowed lawn at the other end of the house can also transit us to this floor where we have created spaces to relax and bask in the glory of pristine nature. Our bath area is designed in a place of indulgence centered around a bathtub with a view. And quietly powering this entire piece of land are the solar panels installed on the roof. It was a seamless journey. We just listened and reciprocated with nature. Now, our abode transcends its vision. It fosters love and joy, where all species enjoy. It fosters space for every mood. From solitude to romantic hues. It lets you relax and rejuvenate with noise and peace both to celebrate. It takes you on an adventure or lets you paint your own venture. Here the sun and moon celebrate the divine and harbor the origin and future infinite. Welcome to Shunya. And this is where it all began.